As the sun goes down over the great Australian bush, many animals venture out in search of food. It's easier getting around in the cool of the night rather than the heat of the day. The cane toad is the largest true toad in the world. A nocturnal, cold-blooded amphibian. They'll eat basically anything that fits in their mouth. Native to South and Central America, introduced into far North Queensland in 1935. At the time, the sugarcane industry was struggling due to cane beetles eating the crops. As well as ravaging the leaves high on the sugar cane, cane beetles also lay their eggs in the ground where the larvae hatch and eat the roots. If you ask me, it's a bloody bad idea introducing the world's largest poisonous toad in an attempt to solve a problem. Now, 85 years later, Cane toads inhabit a vast area of northeastern Australia, spreading uncontrollably. Fully grown female cane toads can lay up to 40,000 eggs at once, all year round in warm climates. Poisonous for their entire life cycle, from when they're eggs until long after they're dead. Cane toads are masters of survival. They're unbelievably tough and reproduce rapidly, adapting to some of Australia's harshest terrain. It hasn't even been a century, but Australia's native animals are adapting too. Predators could learn by eating small juvenile toads, which don't contain deadly amounts of poison, but they're best off avoiding any big toads, which contain fatal amounts of poison. Cane toads have two pronounced poison glands on their shoulders. If a large goanna was to eat a fully grown toad, its effects would be deadly. A large proportion of Australia's meat-eating birds are somewhat immune to the cane toad's poison. Crows have figured out by flipping the toads on their back that they can eat the heart and liver whilst avoiding the poison glands. Australia's water rats have figured that out too. Meat ants and water beetles are responsible for killing thousands of toads, preying on eggs, tadpoles and juveniles predominantly. This Nankane night heron hunts the edge of a pond, looking for something nice, like a shrimp. A dense bush around these parts. Bit of very dense lantana. <laughs> Bit dense one bat in the bush. It's uh, definitely not clear on the other side of this, eh? Hey? <laughs> Saw-shelled turtles can stomach cane toad poison. See where we go. Wow. Preying on tadpoles occasionally, but like all, prefers not to. Keelback, a non-venomous Australian freshwater snake. Harmless to humans and placid natured. They spend most of their time down the creek hunting frogs. Keelbacks can also consume cane toads. However, the amount of energy the snake uses digesting the toad's toxic poison essentially leaves the snake malnourished and hungry. They'd much prefer a native frog. There is no long-term solution or cure for the cane toad. We can only accept and adapt to the circumstances. 
care for wildlife as it attempts to adapt to this forever changing world. We, as the human race, are the source of problems. We have the power to take lives, often without realising. But we also have the power to save lives. Griff do gloves. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck a woodchuck woodchuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Trouble, man. It's easier getting around in the cool of the night. How should I say it?